when you get I don't think so. when you cry, I think a mentally ill voter, voter with a society that abandons him and treats him like trash. The police. I'll tell you what you get. The police. Get what you YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And today I want to talk to you guys about Joker. I mean, not the movie because I haven't seen the movie yet. But I figured we might as well make an action figure seeing the movie did really well. It was successful. It made uh, almost a billion dollars, if not a billion already. And I don't see any toy lines producing any Joker toys. So I didn't see why not. I mean, why not make it, right? It was pretty quick. I made the head. I was just going to make the head and give it away. But then in Walmart recently, I found an Alfred Pennyworth DC multiverse figure. Not too familiar with these figures. Every time I see them, they never really catch my eye. So I, I leave them. But coincidentally, I was working on a Joker head before anything. And I thought, oh, what a, what a coincidence that Alfred's body looks just like the Joker. And so I picked it up and I said, why not? Another positive thing were... It had so many alternate heads. And I said, oh, what do you know? One of those heads looked just like Stan Lee. And I could use that for the Ben Cooper costume that I just made recently. But then the next day, my son and I went to Target. And I walked past another DC Multiverse figure that had Joker on the side of the box. And what do you know? It's the same exact Joker. And when I saw the Joker on the side of the box, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if it's the same body as Alfred Pennyworth. And guess what? The exact same body. And so I had to buy them just to compare them to the Joker I was working on. But there are differences between Alfred Pennyworth and Joker. The jackets are slightly different. The ties are different. The heads and the pegs. But everything else is pretty exact. Just colored differently. Another thing that had me interested were the double jointed elbows. When I saw that in Alfred, I said, damn, Mattel stepping it up. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, an ab crunch. And then to my surprise, the ab crunch is not functional. So, But with all the accessories and the double jointed elbows and knees, I will say the figure is worth the $19.99 I paid for it. I do wish there was an ab crunch though. So Mattel, please work on that. Hey, Dios mío, this is so much fun, my friend. I'm happy you make it for me. Y yo, eh, pofiando, smoking, drinking, un poquito. Ay, Dios mío. Vamos a bailar. Hey. Billy, what, what are you doing? I'm having fun, coño. Having fun. Now, I know this is not Stan Lee. This is the guy who played... Alfred in the TV show, but it looks pretty good, and I like it. And until I get a Stanley head, this is what I'm going to use it for. But to Mattel's credit, they did a really good job with these faces. Like, they look pretty accurate to their human counterpart. So I'm really impressed, because even the animated series is accurate. So a bunch of different generations captured. But does the figure move? To my surprise, it moves pretty well. Arms go all the way up. And that's pretty fun, especially if he dances, right, in the movie, his iconic dance. You get a bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows that work really well. You get a wrist hinge and swivel. I couldn't manage to pop those hands out, even heating them up. Those hands were tough. I do have a little shading in that vest. It's a little hard to see, but it is there. There's subtle shading throughout this entire figure. But the ab crunch is barely functional. You get a waist swivel, thigh split about that much. You get a double jointed knees, you get a thigh swivel, and then an ankle pivot and hinge. But if you look closely, you can see the differences in the jackets or the shading. But the figure is pretty much the same. The jackets, the buttons, they added on the Joker jacket, and then the hole for the flower. A quick before and after where you can see the shading on the vest. The left is not shaded where the right one is. And a little bit of shading on the jacket and arms as well. So it goes from a dark burgundy to like a cranberry brick kind of red but there he is joker joaquin phoenix did an amazing job from what i hear everyone loves his interpretation of the joker everyone was nervous at first but looks like they want to do a sequel and who knows how that goes i haven't seen the movie like i said earlier so i don't care if you spoil it or not because again i've already seen reviews and people spoilers but maybe there's other people who care for it but if if you haven't seen the movie by now you can't expect to not be spoiled because it's already like two weeks in, so it's your loss. Just like me, it's my loss. I didn't see the movie. But I will see the movie. So, But until then, guys, let me know what you think about this custom. Does it look like the Joker? I mean, people say the face is too clean. I agree. I didn't want to dirty the face up that much. Because then I feel like I'd have to dirty up the entire costume or the outfit with blood and stuff like that. And I didn't really want to do that. Uh, maybe on another one. Because I do have that purple Joker. So we'll see. But guys, feel free to give me a thumb up, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.